Last summer, we visited India for the very first time. While there are many amazing places to see, our main goal was to explore Ladakh. Before heading to the remote mountains, we stayed in a five-star hotel in Delhi. Oh, turns out there is so much to eat under this one roof. You've got a buffet, Indian food, Italian food, Chinese food, and more. There's also a spa with Ayurvedic therapy. Yup, that's medicated sesame oil dripping on my forehead. Now let the hotel tour begin. Thanks to House for sponsoring this video. Welcome to Shangri-La's Eros Hotel located in New Delhi. Might look plain on the outside, but boy does it sparkle in the inside. Floral arrangements in the lobby elevate the mood. These pink carnations and vibrant green leaves are real. After check-in, we head to the seventh floor for the deluxe room. Here's the door, and right away we have the closet area to the right. Ooh, I love this abstract carpet. Navy blue, cool blue, gray brown, and off white make a winning color combo. The king bed is firm. You have the option of getting two twin beds instead. I love the main lighting, it has a cove. The bathroom walls is made of glass. However, if you want some privacy, you can put down the curtains. The switches are here. I like to have these open during the daytime so then the natural light seeps in. Across the bed, we have a TV. This room comes with a desk as well as a couch and a chair. Next to the couch is a wooden bowl of complimentary fruit. A collection of local photos hang in a square. Squares in a square. In the very mini kitchen area, we have two bottles of water and then a portable kettle. One drawer holds cups, tea, sugar, and more bottled water. The angled drawer contains snacks and mini drinks. Some other detail I really enjoy is this mirror. They have patterns on it. The hangry is kicking in. Let's head downstairs to Tamra. This restaurant mostly serves Southeast Asian, Indian, and European fare. Yup, and they host buffets. Oh, I'm drooling. Resembles a thick salmon wellington, but inside the fish is wrapped in seaweed. There's a section dedicated to regional Indian cuisine. Today, they feature dishes of Hyderabad. Sauces and crunchies. At this station, you can make your own Raj Kachori. It's topped with coriander leaves, green chutney, tamarind chutney, sev, and more. The short crunchy noodles are made of chickpea flour paste. The red chili powder gives it that extra pop of color. The gentleman who made this generously covered it with yogurt. The inside is filled with potato. I bet this is going to be delicious. That is good. You know, I thought it was going to be a warm dish, but it's chilly. It's very cooling. Called Golgappa, you fill these hollow balls with flavored water. Each one of these contain chickpea and potato. The water in this cup, I assume, has tamarind in it. Enjoy in one bite, otherwise there might be a waterfall on your pants. That one, the sauce is a little sweet. I'm going to try the green sauce. It smells like peppery but then it tastes refreshing. Introducing the Punjabi Muruk Tikka. The chicken was marinated in hung yogurt chili and lemon, then cooked in a clay oven. The set comes with green chutney and something that reminds me of kimchi, but it's seasoned onion. Before we take our first bite, let's have some aperitif. Aperitifs are usually enjoyed before a meal. It's a way to transition from work to play. And that's where house comes in. House is family owned and makes aperitifs with fruits, herbs, and botanicals. I love how their ingredients are sourced from their own ranch and other local farmers. They blend and bottle in Sonoma County, California. The citrus flower is made with crisp lemon, elderflower, hibiscus, and more. Tastes like Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. Refreshing. We can make the house spritz by adding prosecco and lemon. Thank. Good. Good. Oh, I like it like that. Next, let's try the bitter clove. The bitter clove contains ginger, cardamom seed, bay leaf, and such. So the bitter clove is made with a whiskey lover in mind. This smells like autumn. Let's make the house spritz. Which one's your favorite? This one, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These aperitifs have a lower alcohol percentage, so you'll likely avoid a hangover. Enjoy with sips through an evening conversation with family and friends. Instead of downing it down, enjoy! Thanks, Thanks to House for sponsoring this video. And now, back to the hotel tour. Let's dip the chicken into the green chutney. So much flavor. And spicy. 
No matter how long your flight to India was, you're gonna wake up. Here we have the Waldorf salad with julienned apples, fennel, and microgreens with yogurt dressing. Two skewered shrimps accompany the greenery. Also ordered a side of vegetables. Afterwards, we check out the fitness center. They provide treadmills, ellipticals, strength training equipment, exercise balls, and a bowl of apples and bananas. The swimming sculptures on the wall point towards the pool. Each one has crevices with light shining through. The moment you open the door, humidity will hug you hard. After all, it was summertime in Delhi. So this looks like the window, but in fact, it is a mirror. This is the real window. You get a view of the roundabout. It looks like there's a lot of trees, but there are roads here. If you look closely at the road, there are no lines. Like in America, we have lines drawn in to guide you, but here it's just like you make your own visual lines. Oh, we get a little peep of the swimming pool downstairs. Today is a healing day. Uh, I'm still gonna do a lot of video editing, but we're gonna stay indoors. Starting tomorrow, we're gonna check out the markets, the street food, film, all that action. The next morning, we head to the breakfast buffet. Donuts, dozens of them. Salad bar with sprouted chickpea, lentil salad, and quinoa salad. Fresh juices are ready to be made. Assorted cereals and more pastries. Whether I'm at home or traveling, I need my morning veggies. But since we're in India, gotta spice things up and try new items as well. Sabudana Kichadi are tapioca pearls cooked with peanuts, cumin seeds, coriander, and chili. Chole, it's chickpea cooked with onion, tomato, and Indian spices. Tomato poha, this flattened rice is made with mustard seeds and curry leaves. A drink cart comes by the table. As for me, fresh coconut water, please. A place that serves young coconut is a good place. In this cup, we have mango lassi, and surrounding it, it's got a little bit of everything from the Indian section. So this here is called the idli. It also comes very plain, just full on white. This one contains vermicelli on top, as well as, well, that looks like peas. I was given three dips, including sambar. All right, first bite with no extra oomph. Oh, it's spongy and sour. Green chutney, show me what you got. Ooh, that tastes good just as is by itself. It tastes uh, more gentle and more fuzzy and then boom, the spiciness kicks in and it becomes sharper. But the imagery it paints is a foggy day on the beach and then uh, it clears up and the sun comes out and creates those harsher shadows. The tapioca reminds me of fish egg. For the extensive breakfast buffet tour and review, check out my other video. I put the link in the description box. For dinner, we head to Sorrento, an Italian restaurant inside the hotel. The pasta is freshly made. A counter is dusted in flour and lined with options. The green pasta contains spinach puree, while magenta purple is with beetroot puree. There's the classic pasta too. Various strands hang on a drying rack. The ciabatta and focaccia came with thin sticks, and I'm pretty sure this was olive tapenada. The pizza was topped with smoked salmon, goat cheese, meadow mushroom, roasted pumpkin, and walnut oil. The lamb shank was braised in brodetato style. The dish was created with lemon, onion, white wine, parma ham, and served with green beans and carrot. A gentleman carts in homemade limoncello and shakes up a drink. Cheers to his enthusiasm and contagious smile. Day 3 in Delhi. It's becoming a habit to start the day at the breakfast buffet. Here's Nihari over rice. As for dessert, a sculptural waffle hugging a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Nice! Choco chips on chocolate hazelnut syrup. Raw honey too! For lunch, we film Indian street food at Chadni Chok Market. That's another video. I'll put that link in the description box as well. The afternoon was a food marathon, so for dinner, let's snack. Calamari. The squid rings come with bell pepper and white sauce. How does it taste? I mean, it's calamari. Crunchy and satisfying. Battered shrimp too. Yummy yum yum. The assortment of skewers include free-range chicken, mint garlic rubbed lamb, and chili garlic crusted mushrooms, all grilled over lava stone. Grappa also provides outdoor dining. Uh, looks like they're doing a food photo shoot over there. The next day, we check out the Janpath Market. It's a 15-minute walk from the hotel, and you'll find saris, handmade bags, shoes, and plenty of outdoor stalls. 
Eventually, the heat and humidity chased me back inside. In the evening, I committed to an Ayurvedic treatment called Shirodhara. She's gonna be uh, putting a yeah, oil. oil on your forehead. On my forehead. It's called your third eye. I don't know what I'm filming, <laughs> but I hope you can see what's happening a little bit. The smell of the oil, it's like toasted bread with some burnt edges. And the oil is warm when it's poured on my forehead. And she's giving light head massages, so it is very relaxing. Just got back from the Shirodhada. No, Shirodhara. So, first off, the bed, it was stepped. Oh, I should have vlogged that, but I totally forgot. But it was stepped about twice, and then you get up on there. And when I was laying down, the oil smelled like, like I mentioned before, like toasted bread with burnt edges. But, like, now that I smell it, by the way, I took a shower. It's like sesame oil mixed with. Seaweed and like medicinal herbs <sighs> makes me hungry though. I washed my hair yesterday like seven times, like seven times shampooing. But look, it's still oily. Whatever is in the oil is very stubborn. Be like this oil with your life, okay? Don't give up. Soon after, we explore Delhi Hut, where various stalls serve regional Indian cuisine. If you're more interested in shopping, there are plenty of opportunities for that as well. Just about to make some chamomile tea, and I open this and I touch the cup, and I'm like, it's warm. Why is it warm? Is this cup warm? Yes, the bottom of this is heated. And look, perfect square! It's heated here as well, so it doesn't get foggy. Cool detail. There is a nightclub nearby here, so uh, last night it was a lot of loud music playing uh, even if I had my earplugs and I could hear it so we just changed rooms to the higher floor we were on the 7th floor but now we're on the 16th floor we get a nicer view actually like we get the full view of the roundabout we have pictures framed at the red fort the uh, desk area as well as the couch the bed very similar however the difference is in the bathroom we no longer have a tub and I remember the other room this was gray I'm pretty sure but now it's like a tan brown and for some reason this room has a what do you call this and now let's hunt for some postcards we take an uber towards central park not too long later we reach the bookshop this is all the postcards they have and they come in books there was not a lot of postcard options in that store and the photos look like you're taken in the 90s <laughs> so looking for another bookstore Variety Book Depot. Where's the entrance? Lots and lots of books, but no postcards. Would you eat at a restaurant called Hot Mess? Let me know in the comment section. Oxford Bookstore. Thankfully, they had a larger selection of postcards. Another day zooms by, and it's time for dinner again. Hmm, let's check out another restaurant at the hotel. Called Shang Palace, they offer Sichuan, Cantonese, and Yunnan cuisine. I must say, the interior design is quite tasty. A spontaneous tour ensues. Take a peep into the private dining room. This table's got a large round spinner. Another private room has a wall covered in lucky Chinese coins. Oh, there's seven different kinds of lucky coins. All right, let's see what our options are. We have dim sum, mains, desserts include <gasps> jasmine tea brulee and almond ice cream? We're gonna have to get that. Take a look at these glass cups. It looks like scattered toothpicks. It kind of reminds me of binary code. It's like just one, 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 one all over the place. The spiral. And it's quite bumpy. It's kind of hypnotizing. The chopstick holder is a fish with curvy indentations. Yellow, red, and orange. You guys sure know how to increase an appetite. I guess I'm hungry because these flowers also look delectable. We begin with rice crackers and cucumber salad. I have a feeling this one's gonna be demon spicy. I might regret this. I already regret it. <laughs> That's good. It starts off very savory. My tongue is coated with oil. And then the spice kicks in. Baked chicken puffs with shiitake mushroom. 
Love the twisting layers. The filling is very wet. Smells sweet, but it tastes savory. This next dish is called Crossing the Bridge Yunnan Noodle Soup. The gentleman adds ingredients into the chicken broth right before our eyes. After the noodles are warmed up, the dish is divided into our individual bowls. The light and simple color palette indicates a potentially peaceful flavor. Wok fried French beans arrive with preserved vegetables. Saute chicken and wild mushroom in black bean sauce. Hot stone pot rice with crispy potato, pickled chili, and Yunnan chili chutney. Dessert is that highly anticipated jasmine tea brulee with almond ice cream. Yes! That looks awesome! Three blueberries happily sit in a row, and there's that almond ice cream with a shard of sugar glass. Ooh. Oh, it looks so silky in the inside. As expected, sweet and pasty. Passed by this mirror many times, but it's like a canvas mirror? But yeah, it has paintings on it. Just got back from dinner, and look what happened! Someone came in and did the turn down service. They folded the top corners of the blanket inside and then placed slippers on um it looks like a like a dinner table napkin almost. And I'm like, what is in this basket? This is the clothes I sent to the laundry this morning. And what's this? Ooh. <sighs> what is that? It smells good. They wrap my laundry clothes as if it's like a present. I feel like I'm getting New clothes again! Oh, my bra's in there. Oh, and my other clothes, they hung it up. Do I have a shirt? See, I did this by hand, but it still smelled funny, so I had it done officially. And pants are always a little bit trickier to uh, wash by hand, so deep cleansing done. Smells like nothing. And that's the way I like my fresh clothes. It's our last full day at this hotel before uniting with the Ladakh crew. If you didn't notice yet, there is so much to try at this buffet. Even just to eat every single dessert item, you'll need a whole stomach or two. Whoa, this shines like salmon skin, but it's pista barfi, pistachio fudge. Today's regional cuisine features Punjabi dishes, including tangri masala and balti meat curry. There's also a steamy noodle station, dumplings and other dim sum. I'm gonna cut the cake. First person to have this chocolate cake. Oh yeah. I'm using all my architecture skills that I learned in college right now. Balancing act. Okay, let's get into the plate. Wow, the inside of that chocolate is so sparkly. It's like the universe is inside. Today we're checking out of the hotel. All right, waiting for our Uber ride. So we're going to transfer to another hotel. Wow, lots of traffic. So for the conclusion of Shangri-La Eros Hotel, when I come back to Delhi, I definitely am happy to stay here again. If I remember correctly, it was about $140, $150 US base price for the room. Uh, there's other uh, rooms as well. For a five-star hotel, that price, like if, especially if you're from California, from New York or from America, that's a really good price. And they have very friendly, attentive service. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Which dish looked the most tasty and unique to you? You know, I'm really excited to share the Ladakh vlog with you guys. But it is gonna take a while to edit. Much, much longer than it took to edit this video. So in the meantime, I'll also be releasing more pixels filmed in Washington State, which is where I am right now. Thanks again to House for sponsoring this video. The first 100 people to purchase the House Essential Kit from the link in the description box and use my code MISSMINA will get $10 off and free shipping. And each bottle is handmade. It's a beautiful bottle. I think I'll keep it and use it as a vase. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For food and travel in Korea, check out my other channel, Sweet and Tasty TV. Toodles, my noodles. Hello, darlings. 
greetings from India. It's my first full day in Delhi. Now yesterday we arrived around 6.30 or 5 a.m. or something like that. It was really early in the morning. The whole day was just a blur and I was just tired and I, I was feeling like this. So I, I just was like, I can't film today. So today, today, I'm filming and I'm gonna show you this hotel. This is a five-star hotel located in the financial district. So when we are eating downstairs in the buffet area and the restaurants, there's a lot of uh, locals who are wearing business attire. I mean, wearing very casual like this, you will feel underdressed. Can I just say, this napkin holder is fun. Looks like an infinity scarf. What's on the menu? Soups, burgers, sandwiches, European mains, selection of Thai dishes, Japanese food, lots of Indian appetizers and mains. Three types of bread arrive. This one's rolled with cheese. Wow, just look at the color. So yellow. It's like someone took a highlighter and let it soak through the bread. Peeling paper off this butter feels like lifting up a facial mask. It almost looks like a hard-boiled egg. Ketchup in a bottle that looks like a jam jar. This kind of reminds me of a float pod. Mmm, what a beautiful pot. This one's green tea. Omelette, cereal with nuts. Check out the fork ends. They bend into each other. Coconut water, small plates, bruschetta, frito, pizza, Asian tapas, grilled bait. Ooh, the chili garlic crusted mushrooms here sounds really good. Closet area to the right, place where you can put your shoes. More drawers, and then a safe. Here we have a nearly floor to ceiling mirror, and that leads to the iron and the board. The drawer next door is interesting. You might think it pulls out this way, but it pulls out this way. As for the mini bar list, here are the prices. I'm totally digging the patterns on this cup. I have elephants and an umbrella on there. And plenty of outlets. So we have these two fit with the uh, American outlet, the American plugs. We also have USB, HDMI. The bed comes with four pillows. And we have a notepad, bottle of water, and then the reading light. Well, actually, this is not the reading light. The reading light is something else. Oh, that's the reading light. We have an in-room dining menu here. Classic Indian breakfast. Oh, they have a soup called Looney Tunes. It's a half curtain, the light still seeps in. The back curtain blocks out like 99% of the light. So wonderful for sleeping. I'm studying this pillow. And in the middle right here, it looks like a person, like an excited person. Like they're lifting their hands up like this and curling their palms. On the desk, we have, it's real, a clock, calendar, and what's in here? Office supplies. Scissors, a pen, glue stick, staple, tape, paper clip, eraser, and pencil sharpener. And the AC has a screen cover. Welcome to the bathroom. Above we have three towels and two hanging on the rack. And we turn to the left. And look at this, very cool. Inside these beautiful jars we have bath salts. And this one we have cotton pads. Above we have a clock, hand towels sitting on a beautiful plate. The toilet paper is neatly folded. It looks like an envelope. And then right next to those hand towels is a plant. As for toiletry, we have toothbrush, comb, toothpaste, cotton buds, a shower cap, and then body lotion. Check out this lighting fixture outside. It curves in. If you look at it from the side, it looks like a hand holding it up. An abstract hand. It looks like it has five fingers. This is the mirror reflection here. So in Korea, we call this medip. I'm not sure what you guys call it in um, India. So here's a bookmark. And on this bookmark is a quote from The Lost Horizon. Alright, it is 7.30. 
Saturday and I noticed something on the weekdays at this hotel uh, it's a lot of businessmen a lot of professional like a lot of locals but on the weekend a lot more tourists I was talking to one of the staff members and they were mentioning that there's a lot of embassies around Shangri-La Eros Hotel as well as the uh, Supreme Court three two one we want, we want to thank house <laughs> three two one we, we want, want to thank house for sponsoring, for sponsoring this video. video. Thanks, Thanks to, to House for sponsoring, sponsoring this video. video. Cheers! <laughs>